Voting for the student government executive positions begins November 1st. Sometimes it can be difficult to choose on which candidate to vote for. We here at UNews wanted to have the chance to get to know the candidates a little better, so we brought in the candidates for the president of student body. Joining me now is Luke Trammell. Luke, thanks for being on here. Hey, thanks. I'm glad to be here. Good to see you, Jacob. Good to see you, man. So tell me, what do you think is the purpose of SGA? Um, as I kind of outlined in my speech, I believe that the purpose of SGA is to foster leadership among the students. I believe that we're this big um, organization that is kind of an umbrella for all the other organizations to come in and be under. We should be able to be open with the other students. They should be, feel like that we are approachable so that they can come to us and present any problems that they have um, so that we can in turn go to the administration and see if we can get those problems fixed. If you were to get the position of presidency, how specifically would you use your role there to accomplish these means? Um, I would definitely, like I, again, like I outlined in my speech, we've really tried to connect with um, other organizations on campus um, here in this last year. I know that our executive council met with um, different groups like Mosaic, they have dinner with them, and we meet with, we try and meet with other um, presidents and other groups on campus. I would continue to do that. I would continue to try and get to know most, if not all, of the presidents here on campus and um, try and just see what their concerns were and seek them out because I don't, I want to be open and I want them to feel like they, they can approach us, but I don't want them to always have to approach us as SGA. I want to be able to, um, to seek them out and to, to see what their needs are because I believe that that is really the, the heart of servant leadership and I believe that SGA is an organization that should exemplify what it means to be uh, servant leaders. It may be confusing for students to really understand exactly what SGA does and how, you know, how communicating with a group would do it. Give us some specifics on what exactly it is, how you would use that better communication to really better the whole community here at Union. Um, can you restate that question? I'm sorry. I'd... When, when you're talking with students, you know, going to visit the presidents, finding out which chapters, what they need and everything, right. that's great, but people may not really understand specifically what that's going to do for them. Could you take us through that? Okay, specifically, that will allow me to see just really what they need. When I meet with those presidents, I will talk with them about what can be better on campus, what can we do to better serve you, what are your issues, and that will allow me to have a just more, more clearly defined um, a, a clearly defined set of things that need to be done, that need to be approached in the administration that they might not want, want to just come to me and talk about. What is it about you, your experience, your knowledge, that would make you capable of doing that? Well, I've served on um, SGA, like I said, for I was a freshman, when I was a freshman I was on freshman council and served in the Senate then. I was elected sophomore class uh, vice president and I'm now junior class vice president, so I really know how SGA works, but I'm not just a member of SGA, I'm also a member of um, Lambda Chi Alpha. I'm the current vice president of the Union Pre-Law Society. I'm a political science major, so I'm relatively involved here on campus. So that would mean that I would be able to, um, to go and I feel like I can appeal to a wide range of people. I know a lot of, um, a lot of people here on campus. And so I feel like I, with the people that I know, I can um, best serve the student body. And with this experience that I've had, being able to serve under President McDonald, under President Magnuson before her, and President Roeder, I feel like I can, I've learned a lot about what works well in SGA and what doesn't work so well. And with that, I, um, I can better serve the students. Well, and I want to get into some specifics about that. Okay. What works well, what doesn't work well. Tell me, what have you seen that works well and what doesn't work well? One thing that I've seen, especially over this past year, that really works well is actually going out and spending time with other leadership organizations. Just this past week, we had a meeting with the life group leaders. We were told by some life group leaders that were on SGA exec that they didn't have a time where they could meet together all as a group. They meet together with their retreats twice a year, but they don't have a time where they can meet together all as one big group and hang out and talk about their, their concerns and their struggles and you know, their triumphs as life group leaders. So we were able to put on an event that was just for them to come and to hang out so that we got to know them better and so that they were able to um, to talk with one another and you know share the share what they were going through and so that one of the things is actually meeting with groups and doing things to where they can spend time together with one another as well and so that we can get to know them better and that was probably the biggest thing that I've seen is actually intentionally going out and spending time with with other groups and trying to connect with them. Remember, voting officially begins this Thursday, November 1st. You can vote online by going to portal.uu.edu. For, for information on all the candidates, check out their speeches on our YouTube channel.